Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another What If video so it's been over a month since we did the last one of these so yeah definitely need to bring these back but yeah that's what I'm doing today obviously so yeah if you've got any cool ideas for What If videos then let me know down below and hopefully um I'll do one of them in a the video if I like the idea so um, yeah definitely um, leave me some ideas down below but also guys just want to say a quick thank you as always because we are so close to 4,500 subscribers and obviously we're closing on the big 5,000 as well so can't thank you guys enough it's absolutely amazing and yeah it's awesome and yeah just keep watching the videos and then yeah, we'll hopefully get there at some point i guess but yeah just a huge thanks to um, you all as usual because it's absolutely insane how far the channels came over these last two years so yeah can't thank you enough for that because that is amazing but um yeah also if you feel like the video deserves it hit that like button let's see if we can go for like 30 likes on this video or something like that and also subscribe if you are new but anyways let's get into this so today what we are doing is we're going to be going to Earth, and you've seen by the title already. So, we're going to be making Ganymede orbit Earth. Or, basically, can Ganymede orbit Earth is probably the better question. So, we're going to be adding the moon in. So, add moon. So, add moon to planet. So, we've got the regular moon. We're going to see if Ganymede can also work in this little system here. So, we'll try a few scenarios. So, first of all, we will delete the moon completely for this scenario. So, um... There we go, Ganymede. So we're going to place Ganymede right on top of the moon so it's in exactly the correct spot. So there is pretty much the correct spot. We'll delete the moon. And then we'll go all to orbit of Ganymede. So we're going to see if Earth's orbit changes anyway. Because remember, Ganymede has got a whole extra massive moon in it. So maybe it will be a um, little different to the way the moon works. Obviously, in realistic ways, it will cause a lot of trouble to Earth. Because obviously having an extra massive moon... It's going to cause a lot of different tidal effects and, and things like that on Earth. So, in reality, it will cause an effect. We're going to see if it causes any effect to the orbit or anything like that. But I'm assuming it may not. But maybe. You never know. Obviously, it's larger in the night sky as well, since it is a bigger moon. The largest moon in the solar system as well. So, yeah, we're going to keep an eye on the orbit. So, we're going to see if Ganymede can break away from the Earth or if it's going to do anything. So, right, there is Ganymede right now. So, can it orbit Earth? without having any problems and it seems like see it is wobbling a bit more now i'm pretty sure the moon doesn't usually do that so i don't know there but it seems like it's orbiting earth completely fine as we can see here so yeah i wasn't expecting um ganymede to do, be causing much trouble for earth so obviously earth has got one massive earth now in moons that's 81 moons so obviously an object with only two massive moons meaning ganymede wouldn't really affect an object of this much mass but yeah it's an interesting question Nonetheless, because obviously we can't simulate tidal effects, or we, we can in the game, like how hot a planet gets, but we can't like simulate the ocean waves or anything like that. But in reality, a lot of Earth would have a lot of um, flooding due to the m the higher waves, obviously, because believe the moon, or if you, um, yeah, if you, um, well, I will say, if, if you've heard, the moon obviously controls um, the waves in a way. I know it has an effect with the tidal forces, so yeah, having a moon double the size. That would definitely cause a lot more tidal waves, meaning a lot of flooding. So, yeah, sadly the game can't simulate that. But in reality, the answer to this question would be yes, Ganymede would cause a big difference to the moon. But in the Universe Sandbox, having Ganymede in the moon's orbit doesn't do anything. It, it literally doesn't do anything. Obviously, it would cause effects, but Universe Sandbox doesn't have the um, ocean waves and stuff like that. But, yeah, Ganymede, the orbit seems pretty much exactly the same. We've, been, we've run the system quite a lot here. So, yeah, there is that. But now, what if we add the moon in? Or what if we make Ganymede closer or further away? Because I reckon Ganymede will escape Earth a lot easier than the moon would, just because it has more mass. But mm, I don't know. So let's go to a new simulation. So, actually, we could have just added the moon back to that. Oh, well. So let's go to Earth. So let's go on here. All right, so we're going to add the moon. We're going to see if Ganymede can work with the moon. So we're going to put Ganymede at, around the opposite side of Earth. We're going to see if it can... Um, stay like that so there's the moon so then yeah we're going to click play so the moon is now in orbit of earth all right perfect so ganymede we're going to grab one of you so let's go to ganymede here so we need to put ganymede in the same spot so we have to quickly click play and pause just so it locks on okay so we need to give it the same orbital period so we need 27.3 days which is about a month so 27.3 like that then obviously we need to auto orbit with this. Hopefully that will uh, line up correctly. So obviously we can't get it exactly the way without playing with every single setting here. So obviously the moon settings here are slightly different, like the inclined. We can get a rough 
something fairly similar here. So let's put this up to 316. Okay, and then the moon. Oh, 319. That needs to be 319. Sorry, let's just go 319. Like that. And then um, it's 125. Okay, so 125. And then the last number we don't need to change because that's just where it is in the orbit. So now, yeah, now they're a lot more similar. So let's put it at opposite sides of the moon. Let's see if the, um, the moon, anything happens to the moon this time. So now we've got two moons around. We've got Ganymede and the moon. So we're going to see if uh, Ganymede has any effect here. So, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. And now we'll watch. So speed up time. So will they disorbit, coincide, or will that happen? Yeah. Mer or the mass of Ganymede has just tossed the moon out completely. Yeah. Where, where's the moon? Is it? Did it collide or did it get just destroyed? Ganymede. Did it hit Earth? Where, where did the moon go? Did you, eat, did you eat up the moon? Oh, it did. Oh my, look at the crater on that. You can see that massive blacked out area. So it caused the moon to crash into it. So let's do that again. So yeah, we can actually, actually we can just add another moon straight in. So yeah, we'll see that again and we'll try and get it in slow motion. So there's the moon. It's also need to slow down time. We're going to watch this a lot slower this time. So we're going to see exactly what goes wrong there. So Ganymede, okay. So it needs to go back to... Actually, we need to delete that one because that one is now inaccurate since it has more mass because it collided with the moon. So we're going to put the new Ganymede there and then give it the stats that the moon has. So let's just quickly add those in. So um, let's see. Here's a play. Okay. So 5.16 and then 318. So 318 and then... Um, 5.6 there we go and then this number so it's 125 is what we need here so one no, no 125 of the longitude okay so now they are fairly similar let's see here so oh it's 5.16 not 5.6 okay 5.16 there we go all right that is that okay they are they both the same now Minus 180, so 125, 318. Okay, they are. So now we just need to put it to 27 days. So 27. Okay, and then 27.3. So now they are roughly the same. So let's um, put it over here. So having the numbers slightly different won't make won't hurt it too much. So if we click play now, let's stay around Earth. And we're going to speed that up. We're going to see how things happen. So it's only been a few days, and you can already see the orbits are changing anyway. So even if I did put them exactly correct, it would it would just delete it pretty much as soon as we click play. So there's no point having it exactly the same. But we can see the orbits of Ganymede and the Moon are both wobbling around as the both of the moons are having an effect on each other. It looks like Ganymede is now closer to the Earth, and the Moon's orbit is getting stretched out. As you can see, the Moon, the Moon's orbit is getting bigger because Ganymede, the superior object in mass, is pushing the Moon away. As we can see, as it gets closer to the Moon here, we're going to watch it as its orbit changes again. Now, oh, they, we've got a different scenario this time. Ganymede pulled the moon towards it as it, had, it was a superior um, parent object at the time and it just put, stole the moon from Earth briefly because obviously when the moon is closer to Ganymede, Ganymede has a bigger effect on the moon because it's closer. Even though it has less set mass than Earth, it's still close enough to have a big effect like that. So Ganymede actually was in a binary orbit with the moon for a brief second as we saw. So if we uh, speed up a bit more, you can see it that Earth with two moons just doesn't work, especially when they both have over one massive moon. Obviously smaller moons will have less effect because they have less mass but an object with this much mass two moons and then an object with one moon meaning the moon yeah they just won't, don't work around a planet with only one earth of mass or less you need a gas giant to have like like jupiter or saturn for instance you need a planet like that to have loads of moons with more than one massive moon because otherwise you get this earth just isn't strong enough to keep both of these moons in place as we can see look and the moon is pretty much just got ejected out of the earth system is it going to hang on or is it just going to break away and become its own planet around the sun? It, look, look at it. The moon, Ganymede is just taking... Oh, and there you go. So Ganymede has kicked the moon completely out of the orbit of Earth. So now the moon is just its own... Um, I'd say it'd be more of a dwarf planet than a planet. But yeah, so it pretty much made the moon a dwarf planet there. Like, is Pluto large enough... Or the moon, sorry. Is the moon large enough to be a planet? I, I'm not sure it is because if we compare it to um, the smallest exoplanet, for instance. So Kepler... 37 this is the smallest planet ever found and the smallest planet is bigger than the moon so in theory would you say the moon is an asset or would it be a planet if it orbited the sun let me know your thoughts down below because it's quite an interesting topic do you think the moon is big enough to be a planet if it orbited in earth's orbit instead of earth would it be a planet with all of the size like no no change of size if the moon was these exact this exact size here 
Will it be a planet if it orbited the sun? Let me know down below. Um, so I'm interested to hear your thoughts. But as we can see, Ganymede is now just going to orbit Earth with no change hardly. As we can see, it's just spinning around Earth. The orbit is slightly changing. That's like Mercury and the sun as well. So yeah, Ganymede just kicked the moon out. As you saw, they both started at opposite sides of Earth. And their orbits changed pretty much as soon as we click play. So yeah, to conclude... Earth could not support a Ganymede as well as the moon. Or without a moon, so if the Ganymede was the only moon, then yes, Earth could support it, but it'd still cause tidal problems on Earth, obviously with the waves and tidal waves and stuff. But if there is two moons, both are opposite sides of each other, Ganymede will cause trouble and kick the moon completely out, or collide with it, as we saw from the previous scenario. Because obviously many things could happen, it just all depends if objects in the right place at the right time and how the orbit changes. So obviously they need to be in the right spot as well as being in the right spot or the right yeah they need to be in the right place at the right time yeah you get what i mean so yeah ganymede just does not work around earth and like i said earth can only support one moon with the mass of a moon anything higher like ganymede and it will just cause chaos at any other moons and you guys probably would have seen that if you saw my uh, improved earth moon system where we had a lot of trouble with moons more that with more than one mass of the moon because they just they just um interact with each other too much because the earth isn't big enough to support that many moons that's why gas giants have more moons in our system anyway it's just because they can support it with 318 earths instead so yeah that is that but anyways that does it for today's video guys so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments on this scenario and also let me know do you think the moon is large enough to be a planet or not personally i'd say it'd be a dwarf planet but there, a lot of people could argue no no it would be a planet but yeah from, from what um, I'd say, I'd say it'd be a dwarf planet due to it being too small, but then I do think Pluto should still be a planet, so it sort of coincides with my opinion of the moon not being a planet. It just depends on where it is in the solar system and how clean its orbit is. If there's a lot of debris and asteroids in its orbit, then it'd be more of a dwarf planet, but if it's got a clean orbit, then it'd be a planet. That's quite an interesting um, thing to discuss is um, the status of a planet, because obviously even scientists don't really know if Pluto should be a planet or not. There was something in the news, I think, the other day about they still haven't made their mind up, like, should it stay a dwarf planet or not? Like, it's pretty pretty interesting. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think the moon should be a planet? I kind of want to say, actually, yes, I think it should be a planet, not a dwarf planet. I think the moon would be large enough. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, and obviously everyone's allowed to have their opinion, so don't get angry at anyone if they disagree with you, but um, yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you hit that like button, like I said, let's see if we can go for 30 likes. And yeah, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and also have a great day, guys. But yeah, that is it, so let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.